Hi, I'm Rainer Kroner, part of a dedicated team of subject specialists here at IMPOC. Grade 10 to 12, you will do different types of formal assessments, including a PET or practical assessment task. Today I'm going to discuss what a PET is and how a PET works. A PET is basically what the name implies. It's a practical task that you have to complete. If you do not submit your PET, you will not pass your year. You will have to complete a PET if you are registered for one of the following subjects. Engineering Graphics and Design, Information Technology, Computer Applications Technology, Consumer Studies, Hospitality Studies, Tourism, Agricultural Management Practices, Visual Art and Dramatic Art. The very first step in preparing for your PET is to download the PET document. You can do this by going to the Optimum Learning Portal, going to the Assessment screen, selecting your subject and clicking the downwards arrow next to the subject to download the PET document. This document should become your best friend. It gives you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do it and also gives you the information needed to complete it to the best of your ability. PETs are designed to test your ability to follow instructions while using the knowledge that you have acquired in the subject already. A PET tests you in a way that a traditional test can't and you will use a combination of information and data to solve problems. It's easy to think of a PET as a third exam for these subjects as it counts towards 25% of your final year mark. Your PET will be divided into parts or phases. Each phase will have a suggested completion date. However, your final submission date for your PET is fixed. You can find your final submission dates for PET on the IMPACT calendar. Please keep in mind that you might have to hire an assessor to mark your PET. Please refer to the subject requirements on our website for more details in this regard. Before we kick off the year, I would like to offer you some tips for success. Take each assessment seriously. Your PET counts towards a large majority of your year mark, so each phase is important as they build on each other to create one cohesive project. Set out time every week or month to actively work on your PET to help you stay on track. You cannot start working on your PET a week before the submission date. Please look at your rubric to see what the assessor will look for. Please feel free to ask for help. We are here to help. Sometimes a concept might not make sense until you hear someone else's perspective. Enjoy working on your PET. It gives you more freedom and opportunity to showcase your subject knowledge and skills. Show us what you've got.